Thank you very much, Greg. Um, along with all of the acknowledgements that have already been given, I'd like to acknowledge the land on which we're meeting on uh, and the elders from the Garingai and the, um, sorry, the Darug people um, and pay respect to their elders. And, um, and I've also not been given enough time to soften you up with all jokes, so I'll just get straight on with my vision for Hornsby Town Shire. Um, my vision is a dynamic and sustainable business environment and not a dorm dormitory suburb, where a greater majority of residents of the Shire walk or bike to work and leave the Shire, then leave to work, the Shire to work each day. Where business in the town centre doesn't die at certain times of the day or evening. Where a strong business community is actively engaged with council in encouraging sustainable and innovative business opportunities. Why would I support business? Because a thriving business brings jobs for local residents and businesses to other businesses in the area. Jobs that local residents can walk or ride to. How? How are we going to do this? It won't be easy. Council has to ensure that its own key properties in the CBD are developed to encourage business rather than housing development. And to do that we need to work with the business community and be sure that the market is right not just leap into simplistic decisions regarding the disposal of council assets for short-term gains. We need to make sure that proposals such as the mooted filling of the quarry don't completely negate actions proposed for the revitalisation of the west side of Hornsby. We need to, let me assure you that council is already taking action to improve the situation. During the last term of council, we've adopted an economic development strategy in November 2006. We've endorsed an economic development forward program in March 2008, and we've established an economic employment and economic development task force, as Councillor McIntosh has mentioned. We've created a new permanent position of research and policy development officer, and I'm sure you'll all know Kim Appleby by now, who's been working closely with the business community on such initi initiatives as the Sustainability Advantage Program. I've supported all of these initiatives and I look forward to the opportunity of working more closely with the business community, in particular on issues of sustainability, during the next term of council should I be re-elected. Thank you very much.